day grade tens. Welcome to the next lesson in measurement. So we looked at the total surface area of pyramids, cones and spheres in our last lesson and in this lesson we're going to be looking at how to work out the volume. So before we knew that the volume was always the area of the base times the perpendicular height but now things get a little bit more complicated so we need to learn these okay. So for a square pyramid the volume equals a third times the area of the base times the perpendicular height of the pyramid. And if you want to think about it, part of the reason for that is that if you had to take this up into a proper cube and then we cut away parts of it, what would be we be left with? We'd be left with a third of that. So that is why the volume of this is a third times, in this case it would be base times base, so it would be b squared times by the perpendicular height which is just big H. Okay, so that's how easy that is but you need to learn that the volume of a square pyramid is a third times the area of the base times the perpendicular height. Let's look at a triangular prism, exactly the same thing. The volume of a triangular prism is again going to be a third times the area of the base times the perpendicular height and again it's because if we took this up and up and we made it all into one big cube and then we cut away our slices to get out our beautiful triangular prism we will only end up with a third of it. So we've got a third times the area of the base which in this case is going to be um, in this case it's 8 times HB half base times the height which is HB times the perpendicular height which is big H and remember that is all multiplied by a third by a third so if you cancel that with that you get well okay let's not do it like that because I don't I want to give you a general equation so let me just erase this okay and let me put it back in okay so if I write this up properly it's going to be a half times the breadth okay the base times by the height of the base times h times a third and a half times a third is a sixth so it becomes a sixth times a base times the height of the base times the perpendicular height of the pyramid. Okay, please go learn this. An easy way would probably be just be to work out a third times the area of the base times the height. Now, the right cone is again the third times the area of the base times the height of the cone. Isn't that nice? So this time we don't use the slant height, we use this height. We use that height. So in this case it's going to be a third times by the area of the base which is going to be pi r squared times by the h and that is how you'd get the area of the right cone and finally the volume of sphere again you need to just learn it it's 4 over 3 pi r cubed 4 over 3 pi r cubed so where the area the total surface area is 4 pi r squared this is 4 over 3 pi r cubed and grade tens that's it you guys just need to go learn those and then apply them in the appropriate places have a great day mm -hmm.